There's one week until the election, and Boris Johnson can't even be asked to turn up to debates. The Tories complain to Ofcom as Channel 4 replaces Boris Johnson with a melting ice cube in its climate debate. <laughs> they replaced him with an ice cube? <laughs> Surely they should have gone with this. It gets worse. His dad rocked up to do it for him. <laughs> what, is he five years old? <laughs> Boris, debate time. <laughs> dad! <laughs> dad! I don't want to do it! <laughs> it's pathetic. We all do stuff we don't want to do. I've been on the fucking one show. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Who? Who lets their dad do their job? He's an absolute fucking disgrace. <laughs> so it wasn't... It wasn't just his papa. He sent Michael Gove, a man who looks like he's having a permanent rectal exam. <laughs> a man so dedicated to lies, he married a Daily Mail journalist. <laughs> Did you see him trying to barge his way in? Hello, Mr. Gove. We're expecting you. Hello. How are you? I'm Ed. Hi, Ed. Hi. Hi. Um, will you be able to put me on the debate floor tonight? No! <laughs> you weren't invited! You can't just rock up to do a TV show if you haven't been asked. And thank Christ for that, or my mum would have been every episode of Luther. <laughs> Alright, Jess. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just gonna sit in the corner and just look at you, Jess. <laughs> If you can't find the killer, you can always chain me up. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Look, I really got into that then. I, don't, <laughs> I, I nearly said out loud, I really got into my mum then, and thank <laughs> God I didn't. The point I'm making, it was ridiculous. Look at the reason Gove claimed he should have been allowed on. It was a leader's debate. Well, Simple as that. You're not the leader. Uh, well, as Stanley said, I am a leader. You're not the leader! <laughs> a and the completely change the meaning. There's a massive difference between the Queen and a Queen. <laughs> it's completely different. This guy's the shit. <laughs> and this is a shit. It wasn't just Channel 4. Gove had a pop at Stormzy after the rapper urged his followers to vote Labour. He rang up the radio to diss him. All I would say is that he's a far, far better rapper than he is political analyst. Then, like an embarrassing vicar, he tweeted this. I set trends, dem man copy. <laughs> uh, it's so cringy, isn't it? Tell Stormzy I'll pop a cap inside his bottom. <laughs> He's an absolute waste man. <laughs> set trends. If you set trends, we'd all be clapping like this. <laughs> it looks like my mum watching Luther. The... <laughs> Stop lying. Like the video the Tories put out of Labour's Keir Starmer. Why would the EU give you a good deal if they know that you're going to actively campaign against it? Why was that a problem? He didn't pull that face. Here's what actually happened. Why would the EU give you a good deal if they know that you're going to actively campaign against it? Well, Which is Pierce, clearly I, what most of you are going to be doing. Well, Piers, I have been talking to the EU, to political leaders across the EU 27 countries, for three years. They doctored it. It gets worse. Look how their party chairman defended it. That was a... That was a humorous video. I mean, frankly, we didn't have the time to cover the whole of the interview. I mean, it's, it's clearly edited. There was a music soundtrack that wasn't on the original. Uh, the colour scheme wasn't... Uh, people can see. We had to take out an awful lot of the, of the waffle. The reason we clipped the video is to make it uh, uh, shorter because 
Keir's answers no, rambled on. No, you picked on. it to make it a lie. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to say this. <laughs> I... <laughs> ..agree... <laughs> Mind you, if we're allowed to edit videos, I thought we'd have a go. Our Prime Minister is confused, unrealistic, and full of waffle. Boris Johnson <laughs> will fail. <laughs> I would suggest we want to get Brexit badly wrong. It is completely <laughs> obvious. We're going to go around in circles. We want to make people's lives come with a huge amount of hurt and pain. <laughs> we are absolutely <laughs> shit. <laughs> the whole thing was ridiculous. The Tories. They made a special coin. The government has unveiled the official 50 pence commemorative coin to mark Britain's exit from the EU. It will bear the inscription, Peace, Prosperity and Friendship with All Nations. Peace, prosperity and friendship, which is what we had before Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got now? Bullshit, bunting and bickering. <laughs> it's true. People are squabbling over the coin. Remainers refused to use 50p and asked for 220p and a 10p. <laughs> like, how pathetic is that? There's a killer virus sweeping the world and some people like, I don't like that coin! <laughs> it's a naughty coin! <laughs> Grow up! And that's not even the worst reaction. Ed Davey from the Lib Dems tried to galvanise the country with a joke. Didn't go great. A lot of Remainers, dubbed Ramonas, as we know, uh, saying that they're refusing to use the Brexit 50p's. Would you go that far? You know what I'm going to do with my 50p? I'm going to sell it to a Brexiteer for a pound. <laughs> right. <laughs> Still, that's just ITV. I bet he nailed it on the beep. I had a joke with uh, a Brexit MEP who was very excited, and I said, I'll, I'll sell you my 50p for a pound. Uh, <laughs> she, she almost took up the offer. Uh, I want to ask you about coronavirus. <laughs> He's died more times than Jon Snow. <laughs> so he doesn't do Life at the Apollo. There's, a, there's an Englishman, an Irishman and a Scotsman. And none of them voted Lib Dem. <laughs> <laughs> How many Lib Dems can you fit into a mini? Both of us. <laughs> okay. In Brexit news, did you hear about Donald Tusk? If any of us were in any doubt about the frustration building in Brussels at our handling of Brexit, the EU President Donald Tusk set us right this morning. I've been wondering what that special place in hell looks like for those <laughs> who promoted Brexit without even a sketch of a plan how to carry it. A special place in hell. Not only do I agree with him, here's what it looks like. Look at those fucking mugs. <laughs> Predictably, both of them were furious. Here's Farage. After Brexit, we'll be free of unelected, arrogant bullies like you and run our own country. And you like unelected, like the seven times you failed to become a proper MP. <laughs> and check out the zinger that Moggy came up with to slam Tusk. He won't sleep after this earth-shattering comeback. He's hardly in the Aquinas class as a theologian. <laughs> Boom! His theology knowledge is lamentable. Yeah, I said it! It's like a medieval roast battle. Your sister's so ugly, the plague said no. <laughs> Pum Pum smells like a rapscallion's privy. Oh, no, thou didn't! <laughs> but the NHS is where the Tories have really upped their bullshit. They claimed they were going to build 40 new hospitals. Turns out they're only going to refurbish six. Then they promised 50,000 new nurses, but there was one slight catch. It appears you're saying that you're going to have 50,000 more nurses. More nurses, But 18,500 yeah. are already nurses. Is that the case? 19,000 of them are existing NHS nurses. Do you see the problem? Mm. People are going to be absolutely baffled by your maths. No, they're not. Where are you going to go get those more nurses from the magic nurse tree? Absolutely. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. We've, we've, we've got a, a magic nurse tree and we've got a... We've got a, we've got a hedge that grows doctors. <laughs> Bollocks, how can we trust Matt Hancock with the NHS? He can't even finish an interview properly. Thank you for joining us this morning and coming on finally, though. It's good to speak to you. <laughs> um, bye bye.